Hello guys, if you have downloaded uh, the new version of the Godot editor windows for 3.5 and the template and you have run the Godot game engine and run your project apparently nothing has changed, right? but if you go to your spine skeleton data resource you will see that if you want to load your new JSON export file, you can see that the type of files have changed. Now, Spine won't recognize, at least for Godot 3.5, won't recognize JSON files. We'll recognize Spine JSON files. So we need to change this. In order to change this, we are going to see the solution. So, as you can see here, we have a breaking change for the Spine Godot runtime. And what this uh, entrance is saying, this block is saying, is that for Godot 3.5, we have like some kind of problems between JSON files and other JSON files from other plugins. For example, Dialogic, that is a very famous plugin in Godot, okay? So this is a problem that is solved in Godot uh, 4.0, but we remember that uh, this version is still in beta, okay? So for the time being, we are going to still using the stable version, okay? But we need to apply these changes. And in order to apply these changes, we have two solutions to upload or JSON files. Let's see the first one. So the first method is very, very easy, very straightforward. Imagine that you just want to clean the JSON files and the Atlas. Let's don't clean the Atlas, only the JSON, okay? For or a Spine Skeleton Data Resource, okay? And then we go to our uh, Godot Project folder, okay? We enter. And something that I always do is that I have a folder for all the spine files, okay? Here you can see that I have the JSON file, the Atlas files, and the resources, spine skeleton data resource. So what we are going to do is to update. We are going to erase everything, okay? That is our previous JSON files or previous animations. So we are going to to spine and here we are going to export the project okay remember that we are going to export the new animation the new thing that we want to add to our project to the folder that we are setting as our spine file okay and here you can see we have our json files Okay, let me see if everything is fine. Okay, everything is exported. So here we have our JSON files. And what we are going to do is manually, we are going to change this. So I have the my Windows in, the Sp in the Spanish, but you, I think you can just follow me in that. In View, just click to Extensions. Okay, the name of the extensions. And here you can see that we have .json. So what we are going to do here is to click twice. Let me see if I can do it just once and write literally spine JSON. Okay. And they will ask if we want to change it and we, we want, we want to change it. And here the same, we write spine JSON and we click yes okay so we have now changed the uh, files now what we can do is to let's uh, do it this with the project close okay or i think it's not necessary we can leave the project open so let's wait until they reimport the assets okay now we have reimport the assets and here what we need to do is to load 
or not a quill load, let's put load. And here we go to the spine folder and you will see that if we click open, now we have our new JSON file ready to go, okay? So we do the same here because I use it for the player and from for the enemy and we do the same and if we hit play you can see that it's behaving all the animation as expected okay this is the first method is the most uh, manually one and um, we are going to see the other method because maybe you have a lot of spine skeleton data resource you have a lot of spine json files and you don't want to do that okay so let's do the second method that is a, a little bit more complicated but automatic okay so let's see it so for the second method let's do the same okay let's just leave the resource and let's erase the rest and then let's go to spine and export Oh, remember to close the to keep the project okay quit the project and then we are going to export here our project and you can see that we have all the files that we need we have the JSON files okay so now I'm the spine Godot breaking chain block okay and I'm going to do these steps. So follow me in that. First, what you need to do is go to Python, okay? And in Python, what you need to do is to download Python, okay? If you have Windows like me, you just need to download and install Python. Once we have download and we have installed Python, what we need to do is go to Python, okay? And in Python, what we are going to do is to open where the file is located. And again, because we don't want this, we want the .x file. We're going to open again the location of the file, okay? And here, this address, we are going to copy, for example, in a text notepad, okay? And we're going to copy this and you need to add the python.x because we are going to run this in DOS, okay? Okay, in the command prompt. So we need to um, run this uh, right in Python. So at the end of your, um, of your path, don't forget to write python. Dot, you don't need to put dot .x, but don't forget to uh, write Python because as you can see this is the path and then this is the Python that we want to add okay now the second thing that we need is the Python script okay so what we are going to do going to do is go to this website Python script okay and here we're going we need to download this file okay so how we do this we just go here and go to spine runtimes and here we download zip, okay? This is what we want. So once it's downloaded, what we want is to find the Python. Let's open this. And what we are looking for is this spine Godot. And here we are looking for this X Python file. Okay, so this um, this file is going to go to our spine files in our Godot project. So we are going to move this here. Okay, and it needs to it needs to be here. So remember, remember uh, to download the spine runtime. And in the spine runtime, find the python.x. Then convert file. Then you need to put it here. Okay. And then what we want to do is to go to our project. 
where the spine files are located and we also are going to copy this uh, path okay so we copy this path and it's here and we are going to also run the python file so we are going to put this path the path that i mentioned before but we are going to add here convert.py i'm going to to put it here so it's easy for you to see okay and then as you can see we just need to put convert.py okay so this is uh, the um, path that we need to run the, f the script and then we just need to also to copy the path without the convert okay because only with this we need this so once we have this what we are going to do is to have this long command okay in this command is first is this one okay the python then we are going to run the script okay so first we are going to run python then we are going to run the script of the of python and then we are going to tell where it's located so is here okay and with all these we are going to copy and go to windows and then open the system okay and here we are going to copy all this long command and as you can see all has been renamed if we go to the file to the folder you can see that had been renamed and not only this if we go to godot okay let me see where godot is if we go to godot to the new version and i hit my project the good news are that this method also upload the files okay remember that this project this uh, process needs to be done with godot close okay so let's just wait for the importing assets and now you will see that if we go to the resources and we hit we have upload the span json automatically okay so this method is a little bit more tricky but once you get used to is more and more convenient okay so thank you guys if you want to see more information about this detail you can go to or uh, you can go to spine and here we have the spine code breaking change uh, conversation that I had with the developers okay and they helped me a lot they are nice guys and uh, <laughs> I was like very 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 new about how to do it but they really helped me and I hope this uh, will help you also to you of how to update the new version okay for Godot 3.5 and don't forget if you like it to leave a like or subscribe if you like the content of the channel and see you in the next one thank you